throw one of these Harleys out then. Better do my boot up. Oh, she's a big beast. The standing position is oddly familiar. So we are on a Harley Davidson Pan America 2022. It feels so natural standing up. I'm not a big bike guy. In fact, I'm not really a road bike guy, but I'm amazed how comfortable I feel already. They're a big 1250cc twin. And they, oh, they sound nice. For anyone wondering, how do I get a go on one of these things? Well, all you need is a road bike license and you can hire one. So Harley Davidson, we are the only one in Europe at the moment. So you'll come to this place on one of these and Mick will teach you how to ride off road. Oh goodness, do not dip the clutch. <laughs> one of the first things I've noticed the clutch pull is so nice. Oh, I cannot see a thing. Cheers, mate. For a big 1250, the clutch pull is still one finger. Oh, I hope he can see, because I really can. He's gone! <laughs> He's gone! If I follow the dust, we'll be fine. Holy cow! I don't know how fast he's doing. Oh, we're doing 50! <laughs> oh, I can see some brake lights. Oh, I've chosen the hard line here, haven't I? I mean, even now, most people aren't going to do this with their adventure bikes. But they should. These bikes are so capable. Again, I'm five minutes in. But, wow. Oh, the clutch is so smooth. Consider it's holding back 1250 cc's of freedom. Wow. And in the off-road world, as you all know, the clutch is the key to success. They've absolutely nailed this bike straight off the bat by having a nice clutch. Oh, this is not an easy trail. So in really amazing is happening. I can't really feel the weight. Because the engine's so torquey, I think it, it's just carrying itself. Wow. <laughs> what a day to be alive. Might get in a bigger one. So the traction control is on and it's doing a wonderful job. Like I'm going to floor it now. It's just letting me have enough power so I go forward and not spin. Like look at the size of them. Oh my god. Oh no. No way. Not many clients make it up here. The old traction control's kicking in now. But it's giving me just enough. Oh my god. <laughs> Jump. Oh my god, I just jumped to Harley Davidson. <laughs> Fucking hell, these bikes are so cool! I keep on forgetting that I'm on Harley! These are full-on enduro tracks. I'm amazed. Just amazed. I'm not working that hard either. Because of the weight, it's just doing what it's meant to do. <laughs> Having a 
fist walk downhill. Oh my god, I'm having fun. Can you tell? Oh my god. Serious off roading. Machine, mate. What a machine. I can't. It doesn't make sense. I know. Look where we are. Yeah. I'm back. First time on a. Oh, I am. First time on the Pan America. First time, yeah. And it comes up there. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. It, it's, it's got so much torque, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And like there. You can't even get it to rev out, can you? No, no, the traction control sorts it out yeah. for you. Yeah, it's such a confidence-inspiring bike to ride, isn't it? It's amazing. If the traction control was off, you'd be snaking and then you'd be off and on the throttle, yeah. Yeah. and that's where it'd absolutely ruin that hill. But yeah. this just... Yeah. So we're going to take it to the top. I'm going to take it to the top, he says. Yeah. Just look where we are. <laughs> wow. Now I'm an experienced off-road rider. What am I doing on this thing? Oh, I reckon I can turn that. Yeah! <laughs> it's so cool, Mick. Guys, I, I can't stress enough, look where we are on this big old beast, just loving life. Okay, camp up and enjoy. Well Harley Davidson, you've done the adventure bike very well. Yeah. What an adventure. <laughs> How long been riding it? 10-15 minutes? Yeah, 15 yeah. minutes, firing yeah. it up, stuff like that. And the mad thing is, I've seen Mick with people that have never ridden off-road doing similar things to this. Yeah. It, that's confidence inspiring, isn't it? To be able to feel comfortable on a bike straight away. Yeah, yeah. Especially for those who are new to the world of adventure biking or off-road in general, to be able to jump on a bike and do that is a massive credit to the bike. The bike, and, yeah. And the confidence it's inspiring in people. I, I, They've just nailed stuff. Even like... The clutch, I mean, it's a 1250cc bike. That clutch pull is one finger and it's no harder than your bike at home. And you get to see some pretty impressive scenery on your way around, don't you? Amazing scenery. And that's the trail we headed up. Oh, yeah. Did a jump on a Harley. Oh, no, <laughs> it's bad, isn't it? <laughs> you come up that climb where that hump is, did yeah. you jump it? Yeah, I did. Uh, it just inspires that, doesn't it? I think you like it helps that you're inspiring as well. Like I, I wouldn't have come up there on my own. No, no but with absolutely. you. But it just shows where people's whole perception of adventure can take you to, isn't it? Yeah. And that's the message. And these are the tools to take you there. You can now really hit the scene, you know, put your tent here, enjoy some incredible kind of why we go adventure to take this kind of thing in. And the Pan America will bring you here and safely. What goes up must come down. Oh, I don't know if I'm more nervous about going down than coming up. Look at that ABS kicking in, just making light work of everything. Wonder if we can make this tight corner. Oh, Mick's gone for it. Again, they're not heavy. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm just controlling my brakes. And the bike does not feel heavy, I'm not fighting it. 
Not by any means. Tell you what, you've got to take the scenery in as well. What's she looking up there for? <laughs> what is he looking up there for? Oh shit! Oh my god! No! Goggles are off. No way. Fuck. Fuck. Gotta go for it. Mix done it. Mix only done the dark out nine times. I'm sure I'll be fine. Jesus Christ. Oh, here she comes! Oh my god! You absolute madman! <laughs> Look at my eyes, I'm so... <laughs> that is a beautiful shot though. I can't believe how steep that was. Well, that was steep, isn't it? Have been up there before? Yeah. Jeez, man. Yeah. I had to stop. I was like, did that just happen on a Harley Davidson? <laughs> and get out, check the view out. Get more impressive, does it? Unreal. I've never been here before. And the only thing that's brought me is a Harley Davidson. <laughs> I don't think the beater would have done that. Look at the landscape. And we've come up on Harleys. Easily. With the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I've not even broke a sweat. That, they're so easy. Yeah. Long way down though, Mick. Uh, yeah. Yep, we're off. Whether we like it or not. That's how steep it is. Look at that rock rolling. God, that scenery is amazing. Bit of a wipe. A danger wipe. The camera, obviously. Lovely little log at the bottom too. No bother. Little pivot. Ooh. Off we go. Uh oh, can't see it up then. <laughs> what are we doing? This is amazing fun. I'm going to have to trade my enduro bike in for a Harley. Fucking hurt. <laughs> that really hurt. Now let's see if we can pull off from here. Oh god. Here we go. Oh, we stalled it. <laughs> That stick javelined me off the back of the bike. <laughs> oh, I couldn't see it because of the dust. Just all of a sudden, it's like, boof, off the back. <laughs> Pull me straight off the back. The bike just did that. I'll tell you what, to get going from there. Freaking, yeah. That's impressive. Yeah, it pulled up from there. Yeah. It, it javelined me to that side of the bloody thing. That's I should have been up there on the pad. Is it? It's my fault for following you so close, I can see. <laughs> so 
agile. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that is the weirdest feeling I think I've ever felt. I'm amazed how well it soaks up these bumps. If these bikes can do this, they can do anything. They will not hold you back one bit. Your adventure now is as big as you can think. The bigger you dream, the more these bikes will... Oh God. Oh, I can hear it. The bigger you dream, the bigger these bikes will reward you. Genuinely don't want to look at my speedo. We're literally doing all the enduro loops on these Pan America 1250s. And we're doing it with ease. I'd like to say it's my talent doing this, but it's whoever, the talent is whoever built this bike. Christ is good. Suspension is phenomenal. So plush on the little rocks, but when you hit something big, it's happy still. I should have known more about the bike, really, but it's electronic suspension, which probably takes about a million readings per second. Oh, he bombed out. Where's he off? I need to stop asking. I need to stop like doubting the bike. <laughs> oh, I'm having so much fun. I swear the suspension takes these little bumps better. Oh, he's going straight, isn't he? No, he's not good. Christ alive. No. Gotta think positive. I've been on my pegs the whole time. Whoop. There is not many places you wouldn't be able to take this bike. I felt comfortable on this bike within five minutes. Now, I feel like we're one. There's a hell of a section coming up here, which is loose, got big drops in it. I'm going to let Mick go just in case because I won't be able to stop there. This is all slate. Can't really front brake, can't really back brake. Just gotta let it roll. Adventure bikes, man, they're amazing. Oh my God. Maybe one day. Brakes are so powerful as well. I mean, they're obviously built for the road where you've got loads of grip. But I really like a sharp brake, and that's what these are. Because they're gonna stop you from doing 100 mile an hour 
Oh, that was a bad line choice. And now we're getting to the real part about an adventure bike. You can go do your exploring and then ride it home. You get to come look at views. Straight back onto the tarmac. Smooth as butter on the tarmac. What a machine, Mick. I would not have guessed we'd have done most of what we just did. Look at the size of it. It doesn't, f it, how doesn't it feel that heavy to ride? Yeah. It's so well balanced. I look like this bed. <laughs> I challenge a lot of people to ride their enduro bikes there. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I think you've got to ride it to believe it. Yeah, you have. yeah. Honestly, I'm speechless. It's going to be a real boring video because I'm not talking. I'm like, oh my God. You, you, you ride a lot. Yeah. But look where you've just been. First time on an adventure bike. N yeah, never been off road on these things. Yeah. Or anything other than a proper yeah. hike. Not even a hesitant moment. Not at all. Uh, uh, that really is what it's about. If you're listening, Harley, I'll... Uh... Yeah, and that, that is a genuine rider.